This isn't Starship, but it is Starship's European cousin. You might have seen that the European Space Agency and aerospace company Avio just signed a contract for the development and demonstration of a reusable upper stage, and the current plan looks… familiar. It's an upper stage with four flaps and recognisable proportions, and yes, it's powered by a solid rocket booster. Will it work? Well, I tried to recreate it in Kerbal Space Program, so stick around to the end to find out how that went down. Avio has been a key player in the established European spaceflight market for quite some time now, building the small lift Vega rocket and the solid rocket boosters for the Ariane 5 and Ariane 6 medium slash heavy lift launches. And now, with this 40 million euro contract, they've been tasked with developing quote, reusable upper stage technologies. Over the next two years, Avio will work on developing a vehicle capable of an in flight demonstration of a quote, reusable upper stage stage, ending with a preliminary design for both the vehicle and ground support infrastructure. Yeah, I know, preliminary, but at least it's a step in the right direction. The similarities may also extend to the vehicle's propellant, with Avio hinting towards a combination of liquid methane and liquid oxygen. The company is currently developing an engine known as the MR10. Its primary purpose is to serve as the engine for the upcoming Vega E's third stage. In case you didn't know, the Vega E is a further iteration on the Vega C. Unfortunately, the details dried up from here, with neither ESA nor Avio going any deeper than broad general statements. If you're wondering why this concept looks a little goofy, then the fact that Avio won this contract might just be the answer. That solid rocket booster first stage? That's actually a P120C, the exact same motor currently used for Vega C's first stage and the strap-on boosters of the Ariane 6. As I said earlier, Avio already manufactures these boosters for those vehicles, so it makes perfect sense to utilise pre-existing hardware to save time and cut costs. The P120C also gives us a great indicator of the scale of this vehicle, because while its proportions may be similar to Starship, in reality the current concept looks to be approximately 36.5 metres tall. That's half the height of the Super Heavy booster alone, not to mention an entire Starship stack. This scale is closer to Stoke Space's Nova rocket, although that vehicle features a reusable first stage for full reusability, something the P120C is not capable of. The small scale full reuse concept isn't unheard of to SpaceX either. Back in the early BFR days of Starship development, Elon Musk even announced a reusable Falcon 9 second stage to be flown by June 2019. That of course never materialised. This isn't the first concept for a European reusable upper stage however. You might recall back to last year when ESA revealed the results of a study exploring how Europe could develop a rocket capable of lofting super heavy payloads into orbit. One of the two concepts, produced by Germany's rocket factory Augsburg, showcased an upper stage with that reminiscent flat placement. This however was very much a study. ESA and Avio's new deal is to develop technology. But what about real hardware? Well, while Europe doesn't have any reusable upper stage hardware just yet, there is reusable first stage hardware knocking about. For example, Themis. Think of it as a European version of SpaceX's Grasshopper. It's a first stage prototype designed to hop up to 100 meters before descending to the ground for a soft touchdown. It arrived at the Estrange Space Center in Sweden not too long ago and is gearing up for flight as we speak. And Themis is powered by Prometheus, a reusable Methalox engine in development by ESA since 2017. Not only will it be used by Themis, but it's also slated to be used on the partially reusable Ariane Next, the proposed successor to the Ariane 6, maybe even Ariane 6 itself, and Maya Space's partially reusable launch vehicle called Maya. So why is Avio's concept getting clowned so much on social media? Well, apart from the goofy proportions, it's also the fact that Europe is demonstrably behind when it comes to reusable rocketry. I'm sure you've all seen the infamous clip of European spaceflight officials laughing at the idea of reusable rockets just over a decade ago. What I'm discovering in the market though is that um, SpaceX primarily seems to be selling uh, a dream, which is good, we should all dream. I think the $5 million launch or $15 million is, is a bit of the dream. Personally, I think reusability is a dream. At the moment, I feel that we're looking, and you're presenting to me, how am I going to respond to a dream? But they are looking at a price which is about half yours today. It's a dream. Well, <laughs> all right. Supposing that you wake up and they're there, what would you area and space do? Uh, we would have to react to it. There's also the direct comparison of where this contract was signed, the 2025 International Astronautical Congress in Sydney. Nine years prior, the 2016 International Astronautical Congress in Guadalajara was the host to Elon Musk's presentation of the Interplanetary Transport System, the fully reusable heavy lift rocket destined to make humanity a multiplanetary species. Nearly a decade on, and well, 
the difference between each side of the Atlantic couldn't be more clear. I felt that note was a little bit too depressing to end on, so I thought I'd do a service to the spaceflight community and attempt to build Avrio's concept in Kerbal Space Program. The actual design itself didn't really like going through the sound barrier, I'll put it that way, but with the addition of some minor aerodynamic flaps to the SRB, it can actually fly reasonably well and even land right side up, with the help of some beefed up reaction wheels and um, maybe it needs some landing legs. Anyways, I've been Ryan Caden for NSF, thanks for watching and goodbye.